Space is one of the most fascinating things in the universe, and even though 12 men have already landed on the moon, we still know very little about it. While the last manned lunar mission was in 1972, there are still many unmanned missions happening today. During a recent lunar expedition, China's Chang-4 explored the far side of the moon where no humans have walked before and, during the mission, came across an unusual discovery that appeared to be completely out of place and confused many scientists. Before we start, smash the like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't, and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new stories. It's been almost 50 years since the last man walked on the moon, but there have been many soft landings, otherwise known as robotic missions, since then. And many of these missions have come up with groundbreaking discoveries, like China's Chang-4 that started off as a normal expedition. After scouring the surface of the far side of the moon, a rare discovery it made left scientists with more questions than answers. As soon as they saw the finding, they knew it was special, but they had no idea what it could be. Before diving into what scientists discovered during the expedition, let's take a brief look into the history of landing on the moon to better understand just how rare the discovery was. During the space race era, the superpowers of the world, the United States and the Soviet Union, were competing to see who could get to space first with the Soviet Union landing the first human-made object on the moon in September 1959 and the U.S. landing the first crew on the moon about 10 years later. But since then, people aren't heading to the moon much yet scientists are still scouring its surface for clues about the universe. China is one of the countries that are still launching spacecraft to the moon, and the Chinese lunar expedition consists of four phases of technological advancement. The first is to reach lunar orbit. The second is landing and roving on the moon. The third is collecting lunar samples from the near side and sending them to Earth. And the fourth is developing a robotic research station near the moon's south pole. Up until now, China accomplished the first two phases of the exploration program with the Chang-1, Chang'e-2, and Chang'e-3. Chang'e-4 was built as a backup to the Chang'e-3, but the Chang'e-4 would go on to make history. Chang'e-4 was originally built as a backup to the Chang'e-3, the first Chinese landing on the moon. After Chang'e-3 landed successfully on the moon in 2013, Chang'e-4 was adjusted to meet new scientific and performance objectives. It consisted of a lander, a rover, and a relay satellite. Following these adjustments, China's Chang'e-4 was ready for takeoff, and it was launched towards the moon on the 7th of December 2018, before entering lunar orbit a few days later on December 12. The spacecraft's mission was to determine the age and composition of an unexplored region on the moon, and it was about to make a historic landing. On the 3rd of January 2019, the spacecraft became not only China's first soft landing on the far side of the moon, but the first in the world to land there. The accomplishment was historic and impressive. Congratulations to China's Chang'e 4 team for what appears to be a successful landing on the far side of the moon. This is a first for humanity and an impressive accomplishment. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine tweeted, Well, the moon has been orbiting Earth for over 4.5 billion years, and during this time, Earth's gravitational pull has forced the Moon's rotation speed to sync with its orbit, causing the Moon to rotate on its axis and orbit Earth once every 28 days. This means that the same side of the Moon always faces Earth, and we can't see the far side from the planet's surface. We know the far side from orbital images and satellites, but we don't know it from the surface. It's uncharted territory, and that makes it very exciting. Martin Wieser, a scientist at the Swedish Institute of Space Physics and principal investigator on one of the instruments on board Chang'e, told The Guardian. Because we only see one side of the moon, it's believed that the far side is different than the side that faces us. But it's never been explored. Why hasn't anyone landed on the far side yet? Maintaining communication with Earth during a far side landing is difficult because the moon blocks radio contact, cutting the spacecraft completely off from humankind. However, the Chang'e 4 worked around this issue with a relay satellite. Even still, radio signals needed to cross a greater distance resulting in the round-trip communications delay being lengthened, and any far-side lander or rover, including the Chang'e 4, needed to choose its landing site and avoid hazards without any help. On the 3rd of January 2019, the Chang'e 4 landed on the Von Karman crater within the Moon's South Pole Aitken Basin. The basin covers nearly a quarter of the Moon's surface. Twelve hours after the landing, the U-22 rover was deployed and immediately started tracking across the lunar surface. The rover snapped photos hoping to capture anything that could be scientifically significant. Scientists would eagerly check the photos for anything that looked out of the ordinary, 
but it would take months before they found something worthwhile. After landing on the far side of the moon, U-22 would take a daily nap to protect itself from the midday sun before shutting down for the day. During the rover's nap time, scientists on Earth would analyze the photos for any detail that stuck out, but most of the time they came back with nothing more than a lot of dust, known as lunar regolith, which most of the moon's surface is covered in. That was until one photo came back revealing something scientists hadn't seen before. The 28th of July 2019 was like any other day, with the rover snapping photos and sending them back to Earth. But before the U-22 powered down for its daily nap, one of its handlers on Earth noticed something strange in one of the panoramic images the robot took of the moon. Something caught the handler's attention, causing him to take a second look. Something didn't seem quite right, and it was unlike anything he had seen before. After obtaining data from U-2 2 inches, July 2019, and taking a closer look at the photo, one of the handlers, Yu Tianyi, noticed that inside a small crater there was a strange colored substance that had a gel-like consistency. The material looked different than its surroundings, and it contained bright spots, which caught the handler's attention. But what was it? As soon as U-22 handler Yu Tianyi discovered the gel in the inner edge of the impact crater, he contacted mission scientists, who decided the discovery was too good to ignore, and so they decided to postpone the rover's planned route and change their focus to examining the crater and the gel-like material they found inside of it. Still, knowing what exactly they had revealed, news of the rare finding was about to be released to the public. News of the strange substance appeared on the Chinese-language website Our Space as part of U-22's Drive Diary and in the state-run newspaper People's Daily. U-22 rover, part of China's Chang-4 mission, has discovered an unusually colored gel-like substance during its exploration activities on the far side of the moon. People's Daily tweeted, With the release of the discovery, all sorts of speculations were made, and the newspaper challenged its readers to get involved in figuring out what the mysterious substance could be. After the announcement of the mysterious material was made, the scientists still needed to figure out what it was, and the researchers continued to analyze it, hoping to find answers. These unanswered questions led to people all around the world making speculations about what it could be. The Chinese state-run newspaper People's Daily even asked the public to get involved, tweeting, Mission scientists are now trying to figure out what the mysterious material is. What do you think it is? With no further updates following the official announcement of the mysterious gel-like finding, people around the world started speculating about the nature of the material. But there was one likely explanation – it wasn't actually gel. While the discovery looked a lot like gel, it could actually just be shiny, melted glass created when a meteorite struck the moon. And before long, scientists around the world started agreeing with this likely explanation. Could the material be glass created by a meteor striking the moon? Mahesh Anand, vice president of the UK's Royal Astronomical Society and planetary scientist at the Open University, also believed that the substance could be glass. The scientist told Newsweek that while there is very little to go on, the material is likely volcanic glass. The fact that it has been observed associated with a small impact crater, this finding could be extremely exciting, as it would indicate that a very different material could just be hiding underneath the very top surface, he told the news outlet. This would assume even a greater significance if these materials turn out to have experienced interaction with water ice, Anand continued. Similarly, Physicist Walter Freeman from Syracuse University suggested the substance could be glass created by the intense heat and pressure of a meteor impact. He explained that lunar dust might have melted into glass due to the collision, as meteorite impacts are among the few active geological processes shaping the moon's surface. There's a bit of precedent for this on Earth, Freeman noted. At the site of the first nuclear bomb test in New Mexico, a glassy mineral called trinitite formed due to the heat, similar formations occur around meteorite impacts. With speculation mounting, experts turned to past lunar missions for comparison. It turned out this wasn't the first time strange materials had been found on the Moon. During the Apollo 17 mission in 1972, astronauts discovered an unusual substance orange soil. Geologist Harrison Jack Schmidt scuffed the surface near Shorty Crater and found the vivid colored material. Though many of Schmidt's photos were blurred due to his excitement, Commander Eugene Cernan managed to capture a clear image, and astronaut Ronald Evans later photographed orange patches from orbit. NASA was intrigued. Once the orange soil was brought back to Earth, 
Researchers identified it as the result of a volcanic eruption nearly 4 billion years ago. The orange beads were droplets of molten lava from a fire fountain that had cooled and been buried under the surface. Looking at this precedent, scientists in China were hopeful about solving the new mystery. In August 2020, researchers led by Gu Sheng analyzed data from U22's cameras and its visible and near-infrared spectrometer, VNIS. Their findings were published in the Earth and Planetary Science Letters Journal. As many had suspected, the substance was composed of rock. It was described as a dark greenish and glistening impact melt breccia measuring 20 inches by 6 inches. Such breccias are formed by the welding and cementing of lunar regolith through high-impact events. The material showed features typically associated with volcanic eruptions or meteorite impacts, similar to samples collected during NASA's Apollo missions, especially samples 7, 0, 0, 1, 9, and 1, 5, 4, 6, 6, which were also impact melt breccias. However, the researchers noted limitations in their analysis. The VNIS measurements were taken under poor lighting conditions, making it difficult to draw firm conclusions about the substance's exact composition. Despite the inconclusive results, the thorough documentation and analysis added valuable insight. As NASA postdoctoral fellow Dan Moriarty noted, the authors clearly outlined their approach, which is crucial given the complexity of studying unexplored regions of the Moon. While no humans have set foot on the Moon for nearly 50 years, unmanned missions continue to push boundaries space remains full of mysteries. China's Chang-4 mission made history by landing on the moon's far side, an area never visited by humans. Its discovery of the gel-like substance opened a new chapter in lunar exploration, and we eagerly await what will be found next.